we often come to a point in our life where it's almost like we accept that this is as good as it gets. Perhaps we had dreams and aspirations about fulfilling our lives and hopefully fulfilling this happiness void within inside of ourselves. But perhaps as time goes on and we pass our 20s, pass our 30s, and we say to ourselves, well actually, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. It leaves us in this state of cognitive dissonance, and again I'll talk about this later um, in much more detail. It's a psychological battle within our mind, if you like, where we hold two cognitions, two thoughts, two beliefs, which are directly opposed and parallel to each other. So on the one hand, we have this inner feeling that actually something extra to this ordinary life should be found. But then on the other hand, we have this belief that actually this is as good as it gets. And to try and resolve this internal conflict, which again is in, its, in itself providing us with a certain degree of dis-ease and disharmony and suffering, emotional and psychological suffering. To try and resolve it, we say to ourselves, well, that person over there, or that, these people I'm reading about in magazines or looking at on TV, who seem to have everything that I really desire, that's gonna make me happy, they seem to have it all. They seem to be really wealthy, really happy, all the material stuff, all the stuff in life that we really want to attain, the freedom, the financial freedom, the ability to jump on a plane whenever you like, whatever it might be. So we kind of degrade ourselves to say that that's never going to happen. But that's fine because they're different. I don't possess some character strengths or something innately within me that they have. They're different. They're special. I'm not special. So that's okay. I'm not going to get what they've got. But then we also sometimes, but very rarely, and less rarely in fact, do we elevate ourselves by comparing ourselves to people who have less than us. And this again is rarely we do this, we usually do it the opposite way around. So sometimes we look at people who are far less off and say, I'm not in that situation. I'm not in total poverty. I'm not really struggling with alcohol or drugs or anything like that. I haven't lost people who are extremely close to me. I haven't gone through what they've gone through. So therefore, I must be happier than they are. But again, that doesn't hold true some of the time. We can get people who have been through extremely unimaginable horrendous times in their lives and yet they've come out the other end extremely strong confident and happy people we look at people who have had an accident and become paraplegic or paralyzed and research shows that some of these individuals maintain or get back to the happiness levels that they were before their accident. These are interesting people. And again, we might look at them and say, yeah, but they've got something extra special about them. But what is that extra special bit that these people have? Is it some sort of gene? We have genes, the same as they do. So what makes them different? They're human the same as we are. There's no reason that we can't attain what they have. Whether it be financially, whether it be externally, material gains, there's nothing that those people have that we don't have within inside of ourselves to gain what they, want, they, they have, if we wanted that. And again, these people who have gone through extremely tough times, unimaginably tough times, and yet still come out happier than we are. They don't possess anything that we don't already have within us to gain what they have. We can't compare ourselves to others because of this internal conflict 
The internal conflict is caused by an innate, unshakable knowing that there is more to life than what we are experiencing. Whatever it might be we want to gain in life, it's really to find happiness, internal lasting happiness. And again, once we start looking in the right places, we find it. And that's when life becomes very, very exciting, fulfilling and purposeful in the enlightened, most expansive sense of the word, fulfilled.